This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria... Butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. <laughs> if I can find her. Of all the possible scenarios involving Victoria Chase and swords, this one is easily the least exciting. S.G. Must be Steph. Sucks that she has to miss this. Chloe Price presents Firewalk. Laser Light Spectacular. That's some shameless eavesdropping there, Samantha. David's garden? Or did David dig doves? After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Sports just look so... Uh, exhausting. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug? Drew seems to be the captain of every Blackwell sport. Man, I hope he's okay. See? Another reason to be thankful for my, uh, recent life change. Did Doug... David's car. Pardon? Or did David? Dig Looks this? like Victoria has finally pushed Dana over the edge. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Know. Or did David? Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Sup, Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love is a lie? <laughs> I don't know. I guess the whole point of love is to leave yourself open to <laughs> whatever happens. <laughs> Indeed. That is an art many of us attempt and precious few master. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Uh -huh. Word. Stephanie was our lion of the light board. But platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is weird. Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Uh, all right. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. Great, uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your... You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. And the football team will just bully me more. 
Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. But Dad... When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> for what? You didn't kill my dad. Or did you? <laughs> that was a joke. I... no. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of you are really similar. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? When I'm super pissed, <laughs> the last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. But maybe it's what I need. Like, uh, yesterday. I'm sure he'd be glad someone gives a shit about him, even when the rest of us don't. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. That's actually super helpful. Slut shaming? Sluts shame themselves. <laughs> Another witty rebuttal by VC. Or did David dig dumps? Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. No way in hell I'm going up on that stage. Rachel? Oh, come on, V. You got this. You. Got. This. Oh shit, shit, shit! I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play! What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. Just like she tried to sabotage me yesterday. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe?
Yeah, I guess. I mean, even if you are super lame to me all the time, I hope you don't completely suck up there. And even if you do suck, who cares? I mean, let's be real, you're not Rachel. But that's okay, because you're Victoria Chase, you know? Even if you suck. Ah, oh my god. Thank you. Oh, that's exactly what I needed to hear. Uh, okay. Cool. Tea? For your instrument. We want you at your best tonight. Okay, V. Time to shine. Oh, Price, that was epic. You distracted her just long enough for me to slip those pills into her tea. Hey, dude. Oh, hey. Uh, that's mine. The gloomiest shirt of the bunch. How did I know you were gonna pick that one? I guess Prospera knows all. Oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before. Sweet Carnation, we're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Ah! Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What? Oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel.
<laughs> Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? When life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. Got it. The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. <sighs> Looks like I'm late, as usual. By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. You. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? Yea, I have pointed thy tempest, and, uh, forsooth, it was... The pointiest tempest I ev ever pointed. The pointiest? Then I'm well assured. The king's own ship lies pierced upon this storm. Well done. Who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason? Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Cried, hell is here and all the devils are here uh, because hell is here. <sighs> Close enough. But are they, Ariel, safe? All right, I guess this is what I'm supposed to walk somewhere. How now, capricious friend? Thou art not done. <sighs> if thou art tired, thou must needs repose. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired of this play bullshit. I need a breather. I wonder where Wells is sitting. I bet I could sit here for half an hour and he'd still be too afraid to do anything. Keaton's not doing anything either. 
I wonder how many people are waiting for someone else to do something. Man, this crate is awesome. Pray, use the vantage of that broken ship to prove the safety of the king's good men. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the aisle. In. Troops! Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty! Indeed! Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way off Shh. script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement ages quickly. And I fear if we set out in search of new, uh, <laughs> fun, you'll tire of me, and, uh, then I'll be alone. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes, and when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty, done for now. So go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just happened? Of your Was soul. that real? Heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love.
to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho? Slave! Caliban, come forth, I say. As wicked do as e'er my mother brush with raven's feather from unwholesome fen. Drop on you both. A southwest blow on ye, and blister you all o'er. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Oh ho, oh ho, would it had been done. Thou didst prevent me, I had peopled else this isle with Calibans. <laughs> Fetch us in fuel. And be quick. So, slave, hence. Where should this music be? In the air or the earth? This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit, of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you? His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have mine own. Pray, release me from my bands with the help of your good hands. You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. Walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. <laughs> My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests 
upon your slender shoulders. <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You no, were... you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? <laughs> I think I'm just happy it's over. The last 12 hours have been freaking intense. <sighs> You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. It was magical. Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but like... Eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... Uh, why not? Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm... <laughs> Why don't you show me L.A.? Perfect. 60 degrees every night, you and me on the Santa Monica Pier, gorging on food truck food, smoking up, looking at the moon shining on the waves. And a beautiful blonde man will sit next to us and smile at you. Yeah, okay. He'll say, I like your eyes. And I'll say, back off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? How about, um... Oh. Is that convincing enough? Yeah. Oh, 
Holy shit. Right? <laughs> what is this stuff? I think it's a sign. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Thanks, but I, I was just gonna stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans? I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Just hurry back. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Try doing it your whole life. And Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong?
<laughs> Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay, though. Hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday? That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew, and I'm holding on to a grand of his money. Rachel and I couldn't be leaving town soon enough. They say all news is local, but damn. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? <laughs> what do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. Duty calls. <laughs> Good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. How many cabinets do you need? <gasps> oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. <laughs> Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Solved it. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. If I open this, will skeletons come spilling out? Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, 
I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. You borrowed that shirt from Rachel. We call it the Rorschach shirt. What do you see? Uh, I guess I see a bird. Interesting. Well, wash it before you bring it back. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Uh, what's it like being married to the DA? Much like being married to anyone else, I imagine. But with a lot more secrets, right? Secrets? Like attorney-client privilege and all that. Well, as district attorney, he brings cases against criminals on behalf of the state. He doesn't defend them. Of course not. So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. She sure was. And I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play. We can be very persuasive together. Persuasive. Yes, that's a word for it. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again. I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. It's off to the table with you. So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. Glasses. Damn, the embers are fancy as shit. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated.
so this is what normal looks like. It's somehow way more boring and way weirder than I imagined. It's crazy to picture Rachel growing up here and being happy here, at least before she met me. It's like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. I should stay down here until Rachel is ready. Something else? So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? What would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. Duty calls. <laughs> Good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. Let's see what Rose has next for me. Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Something else? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. <laughs> Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Ah. Uh. Thanks. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> It's the fancy-looking cabinet, right? You got it. Uh... It's the triangle-shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language.
Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to light some candles and bless this joint up a bit. <laughs> Finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. Well, good. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah, it's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel? Ah, uh, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? Stop it, Chloe. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, 
I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. No offense, Mr. Amber, but I think we trust our eyes more than you. That's enough! You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you, and I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Shit! 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 